Hello there, I'm going to show you how to open two OBS windows at the same time. I'll hate you, Avencies. Anyway, the way to do this is to have your OBS icon here, click Properties, and then you'll see the target. Whatever this target is, you want to add hyphen multi to the end. And then click apply and OK. And then now you can click a billion. Just have as many OBS windows as you want open at the same time. Now the reason this is good is because you can stream and record two separate things at the same time. So say you're streaming and you stream and your internet's not that good. And you stream at like 30 frames and like, you know, 500 bit rate you know 480p 360p whatever but you also want to record it you know put your footage up on YouTube or something and archive it there well why would your uh, YouTube archive have the same uh, low quality when you could just record it and higher quality the reason uh, whoa whoops <laughs> the, <laughs> the way to easily do this is to create multiple profiles and how you can do that is easily click settings and then click open configuration folder Alright, then you want to go back uh, to OBS, whoops, open configuration folder, never mind, and then click profiles, and then you can just make, you know, copy your whatever stream profile, and then there you go, you've got stream copy. So then in your second OBS window, you know, you want to go to your special scene with, uh, you know, full game feed, like if you like have chat on stream or something. You could have like a separate scene with just the game feed, or like, you know, stream, separate stream without microphone. What I do is I have my stream open with microphone, chat on stream, and then I also have local recording without the microphone, without chat on stream. You know, just have a hard copy of whatever I'm doing without like being tainted by <laughs> whatever. And so you just select your other profile. Alright, I'm just gonna, you know, go back to this. And you go to settings. And then you go to, like, broadcast settings. Go to file output only, since this is your local record. Then you go to encoding. I recommend, like, you know, anything higher than what you'd stream at, really. Like, I do 5,000 bitrate. It really doesn't matter. But, you know, have it as high as you can have it before it, like, starts to lag if you have a bad computer. Then go to video. And then if you want, you can do 60 FPS. Since I do you know this particularly they just upload to YouTube 60 FPS doesn't matter so I just do 30 and then you can have your resolution really high without downscale like on my stream profile I have it downscaled to 480p but I don't need to do that when local recording so just have it there and then you can just hot swap profiles now I'm on the stream profile and you can see everything's different it's got downscale to 480p you know, uh, 800 bit rate. Go back to local. Now it's file output only. You know, full everything. So, like, basically, you just have one stream open. Like, say for example, God damn it. <laughs> for example, say if this is my stream. I'm streaming this right now. Hello, viewers. That's my stream. And then now I have the local record. So I just start local recording. And, you know, there you go. Just have two open at once. Hopefully that's useful.